what is the best finish to a tournament in Fortnite history? Is it Taysen and Vino's 1v1 in the final game of EU All-Stars? He's moving forward, forcing the placement. Taysen on all walls, but he oh sees everything goodness. through. Finds it, a big match of Taysen oh, takes oh them all. What about Aqua's solo clutch in game six of Duo World Cup to win $3 million? Your Fortnite World Champions! What makes an incredible finish to a tournament? Is it the prize pool? Is it the storylines leading up to the finale? Or is it the nail-biting finishes where even after the game has ended, everyone is on the edge of their seat waiting to see who is taking home the crown? I believe it is all of these things. And the most recent NA East FNCS was one of the most exciting finishes to a tournament we have ever seen, coming down to less than a single elimination between first and second. With the weight of his first ever FNCS title on his back, Commandment pulled off one of the best solo clutches we have ever seen in the history of Fortnite. He needs something, anything, a miracle, a chance of desperation. It's all the way over to the right side. Moving through the zone. Right there. One player to yes, 110. One. Huge taken out, but he's just to the two. body. Two from Commandment. Only an opportunity here now for Commandment. No this match. is it. No match. The end comes in. All right, hold on. Before we get to the finale, let me set the stage for why this was such an incredible finish. This wasn't just about the money. This wasn't just about the title. This was about two of the most experienced players in the game proving why they still had what it takes. To understand just how incredible this finish was, I need to introduce the other teams Commandment and Avery had to overcome. First off, we have, of course, Booga and Miro, the kings of NA East, having placed first, 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 and third in the most recent FNCS finals. It isn't just their placements that made this so special though. These two teams have a lot of history. Avery was competing alongside Booga for the majority of chapter two, including the FNCS before Booga would leave him and go on to begin his three FNCS win streak alongside Miro. Many people in the community even judging Avery in the past for his decisions to continue to play with Booga after being dropped multiple times for better teammates. Commandment and Miro aren't without their history either. Commandment has placed second in three FNCSs in a row, two of which he was beaten for the top spot by Miro. While Booga and Miro still retained their position as the most dominant team in NA East over the last year, most people had their eyes set on either Kanata and Ages or Centered and Cold to take home their first FNCS titles ever. Kanata and Ages were entering the tournament as the back-to-back -back duo cash cup winners and one of the most dominant teams throughout the season. Playing out of Greasy Grove, the team's insane aggression and unmatched fighting ability made them the high ground kings of NA East. Many people arguing Kanata to be the best Best player in the region. With polar opposite playstyles, the kings of low ground, centered, and cold were looking to improve on their impressive second place in the FNCS prior, meaning centered had now placed second in four separate FNCS. Their consistent placements combined with what many thought to be the best drop spot on the map at Loot Lake, many believe Centered was set to finally take home his first FNCS title. The reigning duo champs Peterbot and Byla, despite having a very rocky season on the back of drama and multiple attempts to split up and find new partners, were committed to seeing if Lightning could strike twice, and the underrated duo could find themselves on top once more. Coming into Chapter 3, Season 3, Commandment and Avery were far from the favorite to win it. Commandment came dead last in the previous FNCS and several average placements from Avery meant people didn't pay much attention to the duo. However, this is Commandment and Avery, two of the most decorated players in NA East. Avery having previously won squad FNCS and Commandment having placed second in three previous FNCSs. They have played on some of the biggest stages in the world, but recently found themselves falling into the discussion of being washed. After day one, it appeared that mechanical ability trumped chemistry and despite their differences and clashing personalities, Peterbot and Byla were set to take home back-to-back -back FNCS championships, sitting in first place on 182 points. Yet Booga and Mira were not far behind, and with a proven history of closing out tournaments strong, many still had them picked to bring it home in day two. After a trying day one for Centered and Cold, finding themselves surprise contested the day of finals, they were now all the way down the leaderboard in 39th place. While performing better, the favorites Kanata and Ages were still surprisingly not even inside the top 10 after day one, sitting in 12th place. 
While both teams were the focus of a lot of discussion for the reasons to their underperformance, Commandant and Avery sitting in ninth didn't seem to draw too much attention, many even surprised to see the veterans inside the top 10. For Commandment and Avery to win the Acts of Champions, they would need to overcome an almost 60 point deficit in their final six matches. While Peterbot and Byla had a similar performance to the previous season, struggling to keep their composure and slipping down the leaderboard on day two, the kings of NA East, Booga and Mira were having no such issues. They had been in this position many times before. Even worse yet for Commandment and Avery, the Dark Horse team of Fatch and Pamstu, having played together now for every single team mode FNCS, were not only holding on to their spot on the podium, but pushing their lead over Commandment and Avery even further. Going into the halfway point on day two, Commandment and Avery were sixth place on the leaderboard, 25 points away from the top spot. And with time running out, they needed to assert their dominance on the lobby. And on the back of a four Elim third and an eight Elim first, for the first time all weekend, they found themselves at the top. Avery Commandment, so walking through. There's a beef on the backside. If Avery and Commandment survive a little bit longer, they will be our new number one place team. If Kanad and Avery's manage to find more eliminations and win this, they'll jump up to top three. Avery continues to open up the gap here. It's looking good. Six eliminations on the low ground, but they're completely out of material. They're gassed now. After work with Fumes, Cam picks up Agers and interrupts the team that wanted to win, that wanted to climb back in the top five. Mac was hearing and seeing all this happen and is angry that he doesn't get a say in the conversation. So see you later, Kanata. Threat snap close and personal as well. No, on Mac. the wall, on the last ramp that they have, Avery sees it coming. Cam makes the first move. Threats with the mantle. Might have an angle. And there it is. The big shot. And he gets denied. Now on for Mac. We're to see what he can do. Avery steals it. What a heist. In the last moment, the safe is broken. The money goes to the big bank up top. With two games to go and less than a single elimination separating Avery from Booga, the pressure began to set in. And while having a good game, Avery went down in 17th with only one elimination. Meanwhile, Booga's team would go on to pick up a five elimination fourth, taking first and stretching their lead to 20 points. This was it. Avery and Commandment's chance to finally prove to everyone they still had what it takes. With the weight of his first ever FNCS title on his shoulders, Booga and Miro falling in 21st place, Commandment now found himself somehow having to overcome the most dominant duo in the region all by himself. He needs something, anything, a miracle, a chance of desperation. It's all the way over to the right side. Moving through the zone. Right there, one player to 110. One. Huge taken out, but he needs to get to the body. Two from Commandment. And he's grabbed a few mats of the walkers and shadows up on top of his build up to 305 points. He's six away. Literally several placements separate him, and he has broken away from Fashion Company. Fashion Pass has to win the game. There is only an opportunity here now for Commandment. No match. This is it. No match. The end comes in. He is I cannot believe he survived, but will there be enough placement points there? The tournament ended with a five elimination six, an absolutely incredible performance from Commandment. But was it enough? The Dark Horses, Fatch and Pamstu with ice in their veins had just secured a six elimination win. Would Booga and Mira's lead hold or would the French Canadians sneak their way to victory at the very end? The margin was going to be close. And while everyone waited for the final standings, almost no one could have predicted just how close it would be. Commandment and Avery winning chapter three, season three FNCS by less than a single elimination, just one point separating them from Booga and Miro and three points clear of Fatch and Pamstu. Will this hold as the closest FNCS finish in Fortnite history? Either way, it'll forever be remembered as one of the most exciting finishes to a tournament we have ever witnessed. The rest of the leaderboard was not without its excitement either. After a rough few seasons since Clix decided he would step into the role of leading his team, a very respectable fourth place alongside Dukes finally silenced a lot of the haters. Kanata and Aegis were able to bring things back on day two, finishing in a fifth place, a solid placement, but one I'm sure they are still a little disappointed with. Our reigning FNCS champs, Peterbot and Byla, fell down to sixth place on day two, repeating history and yet again struggling to close out the big tournaments. Fortunately for them, last FNCS, other teams also fell down towards the end, but as we've already talked about, day two of chapter three, season three, they had no such luck. 
Last but definitely not least, Acorn and Edgy, one of the favorites to finally secure Edgy's first FNCS title, breaking the curse he shared with Commandment and Centered. Unfortunately, also had a rerun of history, having their worst game of the tournament in game 12, dropping them down into seventh place overall. Chapter 3, Season 3, FNCS was truly an unforgettable tournament with big highs and equally crushing lows.